So, hey guys, Chauzy here. Finally, Rogue is going to write history and beat a level 5 Grand Voyage as a captain. As a captain, he's up to 5 times attack for powerhouse characters, 1.7 times 5 times HP. Most importantly, he's immune to blow away, which is essential for this team. And he can also auto launch his special, which is also essential for this team. So Rogue is very helpful for this Grand Voyage we're going to be doing. The special, the main thing that is important for this team is the fact that it does a chain lock. Uh, paralysis could be good, but we already handled that with other units. And yeah, as I'm sure that some of you might guess, the Grand Voyage we're going to be doing is at the Baratier. And we're taking on Dawn Krieg level 5, which requires you to use 6 Powerhouse and Asanji on the team, as well as 6 Int. And yeah, every single team before this has used Sanji as friend captain, the we won Sanji, since stage 4 has blow away, which Sanji can avoid, but the rogue can also avoid it. On top of that, it, uh, Ro can help us avoid that chain lock we get stage 4. So yeah, I knew you could beat this content with the rogue. I just lacked the final puzzle piece, which I now unlocked. But yeah, let's go over the team. The rogue's friend as captain is going to be Radio, even if she's a sub in the beginning. Uh, five times captain, not the best. But what's really good is that she can auto-launch her special against poison which we get guaranteed stage 3. So we get to use Radio Special twice, which is cool, since it's a 3 turns attack boost. Also removes all paralysis, which is really good for final stage. Uh, in the beginning, we're going to be using Tot Musica as captain, aka 6 plus we want Uta. And yeah, Radio does attack boost, Tot Musica, or boost and call affinity. So yeah, together we get all of the important buffs. Might be the first time I've used him and you've seen him used, but I'm using 6 star Sanji. 6 plus can be used, but not with level limit break max like I have. In that case, I had to de evolve because otherwise he deletes Rogue's chain lock. But yeah, it's cool. Able to beat this content with 6 star Sanji. We won Sanji for the first time. Uh, Shiryu, final stage. He will remove the attack down and damage reduction. And finally, we have the Vista. Uh, this uses a strat that Nitrosage came up with. Shout out to him. I link his team with Radio down in the description. And yeah, Vista and Radio is just a really good combo. As for support, using an old rare recruit Nami on Sanji to remove the final turn of Threshold Stage 3. We have Lafitte support, remove Bind the Spear final stage. And the support Mihawk to set defense to zero. And what made this team possible now is the fact that I upgraded the Grand Tesoro ship. And the only thing that really matters for this team is the fact that we can extend chain locks. So every chain lock we get from Erogue is turned into a two turn chain lock, which is crucial for this team. As for sockets, uh, you need level two poison, it's actually essential. So we take poison damage, but not too much. And resilience is also needed for this team. This is a resilience hockey team. In the end, this is just a showcase beating a level 5 Grand Yacht with Rogue Captain. First non-V1 Sanji friend captain team. So it's not really about making the most accessible team or best team, just the coolest team, arguably. Anyway, let's focus on the playthrough now. And the first two stages are pretty easy, at least with my investment, I don't really have to be worried about not doing enough damage. So I'm just trying to speedrun to stage 3 as soon as possible. Uh, this is a bug stall team as well, by the way, but just one bug stall. So time for the obligatory explanation of bug stall. Well, I guess this is not bug stall. Since I'm just resetting for friend captain in similar mechanics, but basically when you get a captain swap, you can reset the game when it happens. And when you restart the game, 
It's pre-decided, the captain swap every time. It always swaps captain with middle right unit and this is the same for every single content with captain swap. So it's a cool that you can make it non-random. What sucks is of course that it takes like a minute to reset uh, the game to continue the run. And after the captain swap, we auto launch Radius Special and there's something very weird with this because in my playthrough sometimes I get radio swapped without resetting but every time that happened the poison does not launch the poison only launches if radio becomes captain through resetting the game super weird i have no idea why that happens but yeah rogue also auto launches due to the poison damage and you see we get a two turn chain lock this is essential because this means that when next stage tries to apply apply the bad chain lock, we still have this chain lock applied, so we block it, which means we can get a good chain lock for final stage and also do enough damage stage four. Uh, to focus on the team again, I used Radio Super because why not? We get a bit more damage this stage. It doesn't help later for this team. Two we start two times for Call of Infinity removing defensive effects. Sanji changes block orbs, it's basically the only reason I use him, plus he's a Sanji. And Nami support is also important though to remove that threshold. And as you see we still have damage reduction, but I learned by pure chance that with the damage we have with this team, we don't need to remove the damage reduction. Uh, very funny, I don't think I've ever ignored a mechanic in a level 5 Grand Voyage before. Yeah, just remember though that that stage 3 is actually designed to be beaten with only treasure map radio special so the hp is pretty low we had a tons of buffs for that stage now we use the tot musica and finally we're ac i'm actually very lucky that tot musica works at all because if you're too low hp when you transition stages uh, it doesn't work for the next stage and due to the burn we take too much damage, but what happens is the fact that next stage we get the spear, which lowers our HP and uh, Tot Musica looks at the HP when we're the spear and thinks we have enough HP, so it's just luck that Tot Musica works. And yeah, just kill everything here and we move on to final stage. And yeah, there's actually no orb RNG with this team, at least with my investment, like we start Shiryu and uh, Radio. Well, I guess Shiryu has a guaranteed orb, he's always locked binded. But we and Radio don't have a guaranteed orb. But the tap order I do ensures that it doesn't matter. They all always kill their opponents. So the only orbs that matters are Rogue, Uta, and Sanji, which is why I've avoided hitting with Sanji in this content. So yeah, we start with Radio, get the attack boost, remove all of that paralysis. Rogue could have helped with paralysis, but now he just does a 3.75 time chain lock, which is also essential for this team. So yeah, Rogue finally doing something outside of PvP. And honestly, he's not that great in PvP either, has never been. So I'd say this is his greatest ach achievement in Treasure Cruise. Uh, Shiryu special, just remove the damage reduction and attack down. And yeah, if you copy this team, which I don't recommend, just follow the exact same tap timing I do. Otherwise, check out the Nitro Sage team I linked below. It's the same idea, but uses Sanji as friend captain. But yeah, as said, resilient socket team, so we're able to kill, but... We have no way to survive the death hit, the only way is resilient socket, so yeah, if it fails, you have to redo the entire run, you cannot reset, you have to start over, play again to final stage. So here's the second time I made it to final stage. Nope. And then try again, and I got incredibly lucky here, it worked very fast, sometimes this can take 20 attempts, so I'm super happy I finished it this early. But yeah, that's Urog versus Grand Voyage Krieg level 5, the first team without Sanji as friend captain. Thanks for watching guys. See you next time.